So, for this EVH, when I first bought this EVH, it came with all JJ's, and there's nothing wrong with JJ's. The JJ tube that you might buy for a 12AX7, the internals, might be exactly the same on a Ruby. Um, could be, sometimes it's not, sometimes it is, depends. Depends where you get, where you get the tube. I mean, I bought, actually... I bought tubes, I bought a ruby and a groove tube, and they're both like the same tube. Like if, if you were to do a comparison, let me see where I have it at. Got the groove tube on V9 and the ruby on V3, so let's see. This EVH has got the wire diagram here on the side, tells you where you're at. Oh, it's on the phase inverter, okay. And my Ruby's on V3. Okay, this is... This is not a Ruby. Where is the Ruby at? What? They're all mixed up. I got a... Crap. Now you can see here. Here's a ruby, which I have it in my V3. Okay, it's a little different on the inside. I don't know what the what these differences mean on the tubes. I'm not very savvy, but and this is a groove tube I bought from Sam Ash. Now it's exactly the same internals as see there we go right there as a ruby. The groove tube and the ruby are the same thing. They are exactly the same. Now I don't know if the difference is on the materials they use, as far as like wires, like if one has more copper than the other, but or the glass being thicker, but they are the same. So apparently, both these companies, Groove Tube and Ruby, buy their tubes from the same company. And I have another Ruby tube that looks completely different from this one. And they're both 12 AXs. So, yeah. Um, I think the only... I'm not too sure, but my buddy says the only true original tubes are like the old NOS tubes or the old Sed wings. Or, you know, what else is there? What's that other one? I forget, but... Yeah, these a lot of these are the same. So I'll put this back on V3. So this is the the schematic or the specifications on the location of the tube. It's a tube chart. Um, I'm gonna put it in the. I'll put a picture up somewhere. Where? Right here. So you can see it. But anyways, let's see what it says. I got my V, the V1 controls half of channel 1 and half of channel 2 and half of channel 3 preamp tube. Um, I don't use channel 2 very often. I use a lot of channel 1 and channel 3, which is my hot channel. So for that I got, I got a JJ. Only because I like my clean channel to be a little warm. JJ tends to have a, a muffled, darker, warmer sound on the tube. Um, for my channel 3, which is V2, 3, and 4, I have a JJ, I got a Ruby, and an Electro Harmonics tube for channel 3. Because Electro Harmonics gives it just like a high treble sound. And I, I, you could swap my V4 Electro Harmonics with the JJ, and it'll just be a completely different sound for that channel. So. I like the ruby with that certain mix, the, the mix of a you know nice balance between the the muffled sound and the high treble. And let's see here. So that's for my channel three, uh, channel one and two. Again, they're all JJ's. Uh, my seven and eight power amps. Those are. Uh, those are the uh, 6L6s. They're JJ's as well. I'm um, trying to save up for some C-Wings. Or said wings That's how you pronounce it. 
and on the V9, which is a phase inverter, I put on the groove tube. I mean, the tubes I have suck, but it works with, with what I got, and I work with what I got, and putting the groove tube in the back, it boosted the amp. I don't know why I had the JJ in the back, but once I put that groove tube in the back, which happens to be exactly like a ruby, uh, it just boosts up the amp. I don't know what it does, but I like it back there. I like that groove tube in the back. Um, so I like my channel 3 to be really bright. Not really bright, but somewhat bright, but carry that heavy undertow on the bottom. So I got electro harmonics and two JJs on them. Or electro harmonics and a ruby and a JJ. And for V1, which is my clean channel, I just have a JJ in there because I, I like to have a warm, clean sound. So that's. That's my tube setup on this EVH. Um, yeah, you're gonna need to play with this EVH here when you first get it. The tubes that it has, I mean, you're you're gonna have to play with them. You know, the the tubes you really want to play with are those six L sixes in the back. You know, that's where a lot of the magic comes from. Those are power tubes. Um, those can get pretty pricey. Those can get pretty pricey. I think I was gonna spend. Ninety dollars for two used uh, C wing six L sixes. Um, I, I didn't pull the trigger. I should have. But yeah, you could you could get pretty pretty uh, in depth with these tubes on these amps. So that's a setup for that. <coughs> Anyways.